Jobo, come on. Let it burn, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Let's go, Flex. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Uh, let's do one more. Come on. Uh, one more set, Flex. Come on. One more drop set. Catch your breath. We both do the same thing. Come on. Let's go. Three. Come on. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Big numbers, come on. Oh, we're gonna put it in the 60. We'll go 60, 40, 20. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Straight on. Give me the next one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Woo. Three, two, one, and go. Mm. Mm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. Ah, fuck you, man. Three, two, mm. one. Let's go. Come on. Give it to me. Ah. Two. Oh. Ten rest, rest. We're going to stay there. Two, one, give me some pose. Give me some pose. Fast, 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 fast. Come on. Come on. All the way to you, John. Stay there. Stay there. Come on. Give it to me. Yes, come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Also, I don't know if I mentioned this in my stories or not. I don't know, did I? But my rib? Yeah, I got an incredibly fucking sore rib right now. Um, it's been a, a bitch for the last three or four days. This has been a week ago. It was my last session with Neil before he left to go to Dubai. And we were on the vertical leg press, which an exercise which I've not done for probably about a year and a half, believe it or not. So. I know an exercise which I loved puts a lot of stress, uh, pressure on my sternum. Um, and something I shied away with, but since we were doing lots of reps last week, I kind of put on three plates. Three plates ended up being six, whatever the max weight is that the sled holds. We maxed out on that, and um, as I got into like the nitty gritty reps, coach was pushing us pretty heavy and hard. And um, probably the last three reps, I was totally fatigued, but. Uh, with the help of these guys, we kind of pushed through it. And on the last rep, I lift, I pushed more of my heels to rack it up, and I heard a pop pop in my rib. So I've had a, I've had it looked at uh, manually. Uh, there could be a tear, there could be a, a strain, it could be a you know I don't know dislocated rib. I don't know. Hope I don't I think it's I don't think it's dislocated because I've had that before. I've had pop ribs. They're very sharp pain. This is more of like a fuck you, you hurt me type of thing, you know? But I managed to train all this week in and around it. The worst day was probably the, the day after it happened. Um, when we were training uh, chest, I believe. Oh, right. Just, just even putting the weight on the bar was pretty hard. So it's been a, a very eventful last couple of days. And as my, you know the biggest thing is for me? The bed. The bed in my house is so high. It's the difficult at best. I'm trying to get in there with a fucking issue with my rib. 
uh, it'd be very eventful. But uh, since, since, if I get settled in the bed and I'm in a very comfy position, sleep is not a problem until I turn over. It kind of wakes me up. Oh, geez. So, yeah. in any case, That's back tough. to work. Leg day, no excuse, right, Dom? Let's go. Ribs, fucking whatever it is, we're still here. Come on, Flex, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, there's more. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Come on! Pump it up! Two, three, four, five, six. Yep! Come on! Yep! Couple more! Three, two, one! Let's go! Yes! Come on! Three, two, one. Oh my God. Yeah. Fuck me. Go when you're ready. Good blood flow. Yep. Woo -hoo. Come on. 11 months ago. Good squeezes, yeah? Come on. Yes, good squeezes. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, oh. one. Oh my god. Oh. Last week we were vertical leg press, and we did go a little bit too heavy. We were trying to get the depth. I felt a little in my lower back. He felt it in his rib because we have been up in the intensity every week. He's been feeling good. I've been feeling great. So little by little every week, but we too have to gauge that you know we can only push ourselves so much at once. But you know, it's getting better. When there's something like that, we can work around it. You know, if it's, there's two different types, there's a few different types of injuries. There's one you can work around and possibly push things with, and there's others you shouldn't touch at all. But in his case, you know, we just we can work around, just have to be careful. So everybody's gonna have them, you know, especially when you get older, you know, like when I thought I was younger, I knew what the fuck he was gonna say. <laughs> what the fuck's he saying about getting old? I'm fucking you. I'm signing up every day. That's why I got these young bucks around me. So they can fucking uh, keep me youthful. Why is he hiding from the camera now, though? Let's go. <laughs> if this is how he feels now at 28, he's fucked for 10 times. <laughs> but it's the reality of it. You know, when you push yourself and you train hard, it's, it's just going to come. You know, there's no ways around it. That's why if it does happen to you, you really shouldn't be upset because everybody goes through it. You know, even, you know, the top level guys, it's how you adapt and overcome it. Show me a champion that's not injured. Exactly. Show me a champion True. that's not injured. As a teenager coming up, when you know I was watching all the videos of guys like Flex and Jay Cutler, like Jay Flex, um, Ronnie, they all stuck out to me because they were doing the chiropractic appointments, the massages, um, you know, any of the deep tissue work. So that's why I try to tell any of my clients, you know, if you have the money to invest into the therapies and the massages and the chiropractic work, get it done because. You know, when you do get older, you know, it's inevitable. Everybody ages, so it's all a matter of trying to prevent and recover as quick as you can. Good flex. Come on. I'm gonna like
Yes. Show the camera. Let's go. Show them. Show them. Fuck them all up. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. More. 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 Come on. Five. Four. Three. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Deep down. Deep down. Deep down. Deep. Come on again. And again. Again. Come on. Come on. Two. Up! Good. One more! Oh! Okay. Woo. So cool. Why so cool, guy? Because I hang around cool guys. <laughs> Didn't I, you make that shit? Did you my, create the school? I got my doctorate in cool guy school, so now I'm Dr. D's. Woo <laughs> This is my YouTube. Yeah. 
Ahí va. Like when Ali goes to bed, he starts doing like somersaults. He's gonna run out of room. Can you imagine, bro, being tired, going to sleep, next thing your gut is just. Burning. Yeah, that's not It's weird. Like it's weird. I can't imagine having a human. In yeah, my like I, like about a week and a half ago, she was like, you see him? And then my hand's like, no. And then about four or five days later, it's. Oh, really no, it. he's pushing. I can't imagine that. I don't, I don't know what body part it is, but no, yeah. it could be, you know, whatever, but... Yeah, so while I was training, I told Flex that this is probably... I mean, I've been saying it for like the last week about every workout, but um, that I had the best pump in my leg since probably like 2017. Um, and the reason was that was like the last time... I tried making a comeback back then. I haven't really competed since 2016. That's a whole other story. But 2019, it was like, I'm coming back. I moved to Vegas 2020. Um, early 2020, right before the pandemic. And um, yeah, I've had nothing but health issues since. Um, and nobody could figure out what it was up until early last year. And it turned out to be mercury poisoning. So I was a very big fish eater. Um, <laughs> tuna every day, sushi numerous times a week. You know, bodybuilders are very big with fish. Fish and rice, it's easy to eat. You know, it tastes great for most people. Um, I love it. I still wish I could eat it. But I started having all these crazy health problems. Um, severe stomach issues, um, skin issues, joint issues, then I had the mental issues, um, depression, focus issues, uh, motivation issues, like just drive, I don't want to call it motivation, um, and then eventually it led to, you know, suicidal thoughts. And then, um, you know, physically with bodybuilding, I couldn't get a pump, like, at all, no matter what I ate, no matter what I drank, no matter what I took, I couldn't feel my muscles contracting, so I started developing really bad pattern, you know, uh, habits with training, like, not trying to contract my muscles, not doing full reps, this and that, like a lot of people ripped me on their video, and a lot of you had every right to do that, because um, it did just look idiotic. Um, but now, over the past few weeks, I've been feeling a lot better, um, physically and mentally, and my legs were always my best body part in the past, ever since I was a teenager, and I was getting a bit down, because, you know, even if my upper body was small, I always had my legs. So today was a big landmark point for me, because I actually had a full quad pump just from leg extensions. Um, they're actually still pumped and I know they're gonna be hurting. So, um, you know, I finished treatment in November for all of it. And I knew it was gonna be a bit of a process because it's, you know, mercury poisoning happens slowly, unless like you're exposed to inorganic mercury, like a thermometer or uh, whatever. But mine was through food, so that's methyl mercury. Um, and it just slowly poisons you. Um, but now all that's out of my system, my body's like healing internally on a cellular level. and. I could finally say like now I can see my body starting to change physically and for the better. So these next few months are going to be really fun. Um, but word to the wise guys, be careful with any fish that contains mercury. Um, even if you're having sushi once a week because everybody detoxes in their own way. All our genetics are different. There are certain genetic mutations that, allow, that don't allow people to detox it out. And then a lot of people have problems in this country from heavy metals that they don't even know is from heavy metals because our regular MDs don't really recognize it. I had to go to a functional medicine doctor and do my own research. So, um, but all in all, it's it's a really positive experience the past couple weeks. But this week, I finally had signs of okay, I'm not done, and um, you know I have every intention, and I will go back on stage, and I absolutely will get on that Olympia stage, which is a dream of mine since I was a teenager. Um, my goal is to win the New York Pro at some point win it on a classic and I will I promise you get an Olympia stage one day so a lot of people think I'm done and they had every right to think that because I did disappear for a while but uh, my confidence is coming back my physical body is coming back and I will get up there 100%.
Technically speaking, of course. Fuck yeah, Dan. Yeah. Let's go. All right, we haven't had a video for a while. Do I need to sit down in, in my oh, a little uh, professional? Oh, we can't because... Nay. All the cups sit down. You want to just pan around and... Sh <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess this is this could be part of the, uh, the upgrade right now. The update, yeah. yeah. So as you can see, uh, Frederico has an expert eye. This room used to be white, <laughs> and now we're all fucked up. Don't, don't film me all broken fucking <laughs> Story for another time. Uh, so all my Olympia trophies, Anna Classic trophies, Prague Grand Prix, British Grand Prix, etc., etc., all be pulled down because we just had this room coloured in this in this uh, beige cream. Ali would know the technical palette of this so yeah in terms of update where, where do i go where do i start you tell me bronson uh well oh. little minor trip out to uh jersey right oh yeah so last week right last week yeah before last last week before last yeah because i had this i had this weekend off so the week before last there was an Aries nutrition in New Jersey. Shout out to everybody who was at that event. A great turnout. Uh, I landed in the first snow of the year. So I literally landed from a red eye uh, in a blizzard. We were the only plane to land in that small proximity of time. And literally, when I, we landed, it was absolutely white outside. I uh, couldn't see much of anything. And the pilot done a great job of landing in that, uh, in that mess. Um, so yeah, that snow was coming in hard, so I was kind of worried for Pat, who was the owner of Aries Nutrition for the turnout, but let me tell you, them guys and girls up in that part of uh, the Northeast are tough. They came out in all their blizzard proof clothes and stood in line all the way around the building and it was the grand opening of their new location, so congratulations Pat and all the team over there at Aries Nutrition uh, for uh, doing a phenomenal job and it just goes to show uh, uh, as a testimony just how great you are to your customers in your other locations because you know everybody was very excited for this um, this this event and, and as I said they came out in their droves in the snow so it was myself Guy Sistanino, um, uh, Yurishna uh, and a few other pros that turned up for the event and uh, we were there for quite some time actually longer than than the appearance was uh, supposed to be done but when I'm loving something, and obviously you guys know I love doing what I do. Time doesn't uh, doesn't really matter, right? So we done that event, then we went on to a gym which was closed down. So every uh, person who turned up and purchased something that day had an entry, free entry to this gym. So it was a great turnout at the gym with myself and Guy and Pat trained. And that was uh, two uh, a week and a half ago, I think. Yeah. So rounding it off to where we are right now. Um, I think literally a week ago we trained legs, right? Yes. So this past week, last since last Thursday, Thursday today, I've been kind of dealing with this rib issue. Um, I was training the vertical leg press on the Arsenal Strength Vertical Leg Press, a machine that I really haven't done in my leg days for about a year and a half, believe it or not. Uh, and when I have done it, I really focus on higher reps. But uh, myself and Dom have, have started putting a lot of foundational work into our, our leg days and, and kind of up in the bar every single week. Um, I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling, you know, obviously we've all got them niggles and bangs if you're at the top of, the, top of what you do, so working around these uh, little niggles, and I would say injury free, I picked up another fucking little niggle to add to the pile, so I don't know what I've done, but on the last three, four straps that I've done with myself and Dom last week, Coach Hill jumped in, um, I kind of viewed a pop on the last rep while the guys were kind of helping me uh, rack it up, so it was kind of like a pop pop it was a weird feeling like uh, like that um so on what i've done i don't know i kind of hoped that it was going to be gone and done after the day and went and seen uh, two therapists and, and both of them want me to have an MRI uh, so i'll get to it eventually this is something i have major claustrophobia in yes i'm okay though oh, yeah. yeah i'm good now <laughs> hey Considering this is probably my top three fearful things to do, claustrophobia is on that list. When you're really in the zone and you and you kind of, you know, love to do what you do, and I've got that mojo back, and I've spoken in the last video. If you haven't seen it, guys, you know, click the link below. And I'll take you to it. I talked about kind of being in a little bit of a lost place, you know, last year where you know I had these injuries. I was trying to fight myself back into feeling fully fit again. Plus, you know, coming in the gym 
representing my sponsors and, and really um, grinding it out. You know, I don't know where that came from, and I think it was just a combination of a few different things. But now, you know, the the smoke is cleared, right? And uh, I'm back in the gym. Myself and Dom have been training hard. You know, we're getting very good quality workouts. My physique is changing. The food is going in, which to me is the biggest thing out of everything I've mentioned. If the, for me, uh, my appetite has always been shit. I've been able now to get in all my meals every single day. Consistency is key. I've cut out the, the bullshit. And I think the bullshit was really, you know, killing my appetite a little bit extra in this meal, which was kind of tying over to the next meal. And um, now I've got a very regimented meal structure. So it's not like I'm dieting, but I'm, I love to eat clean and I love to eat uh, very good all year round. And if I want to have something that's not on that diet, then I'll eat it. In this case, now just cleaning up everything, going back to kind of like a diet, uh, and then increasing the portions as my appetite continues, and, and it's been good. I guess lastly, I'll wrap it up by saying this, we're working on the uh, year anniversary of the Dragon's Lair. It's crazy right. to say that March, we've been here a year, we've been open up. March 7th is when we kind of done the, well, we opened the doors. Soft opening. Which, Ali doesn't like that word. <laughs> she was like, there's nothing soft about our opening. Um, but we've done the grand opening at the end of that month, if you remember, and that yeah. grand opening was absolutely manic. And we're now working on, right now we've been working on for the last week, the, um, the, the year anniversary and what we're doing and what we're planning. So uh, as soon as I get a date that's concrete, we will, you know what? It's gonna be the end of March. I would say the end of March, pretty much accurate to where we opened up to that weekend. That's what we're looking okay. at right now. So if you guys, uh, girls that, that are looking at coming into Vegas or need the excuse to, now is your excuse now to come. Of course, we're gonna have a lot of pros, your favorite athletes coming in for that. We'll have vendors. We'll have a lot of cool and fun stuff inside the gym and outside of the gym, and it's gonna be completely free. If there's anything you want to see, comment below because uh, we are now starting to ramp up the videos where we're doing a lot of different things and uh, YouTube is, is going to be pushed more than ever. So we want to see and hear what you guys want to see. Um, and we're taking everything that, that you guys uh, have commented on and, and really sort of investigating it and, and trying to put it into full force. So with that being said, guys, we apologize. We didn't put any videos out over the last week and a half. Unfortunately, my video guy had COVID. He's now recovered and uh, yeah, we're going to start pumping him up from few hours. So appreciate you guys following and we'll see you next video.